it really didn't matter if a campaign was artistic, uh, scientific, academic, entrepreneurship, pro-social, the patterns of success were the same. And projects that had these three core components did well, and projects without these failed. And the first thing that drives a successful campaign is a really compelling project, spearheaded by somebody who's, uh, who's authentic, um, a personal uh, ask you know, with a personal story behind it. The second thing that drives crowdfunding success is this concept of, of networks. So remember, social media really is the lifeblood of crowdfunding, and networks can really make or break a campaign. And then the third thing that really drives um, you know, our model of crowdfunding um, are this, uh, the concept of, of the goods, which is what, what are funders getting in exchange for their monies? Folks have crowdfunded their own, um, uh, their, their own um, political parties. Um, we've seen uh, folks you know, crowdfund, um, you know, revitalizing the community block, turning a blighted area into, um, uh, into a garden. Um, for families and for kids to play on. So think of crowdfunding really as not only a, a funding mechanism, but a way to get communities excited about um, making change, um, the ways for entrepreneurs to launch new products, um, the ways for any idea maker to really, uh, you know, get folks rallying around this idea and opening up doors around this idea beyond, uh, beyond just the funding. So it's really exciting.